This is a circle, the most flexible footprint in Rust. It can be the foundation for a massive Zerg base or a humble solo abode. This is a solo sanctuary. This spacious solo base is equipped with freehand and wide gap peaks, offset bunkers, and vending machine bunkers, a compound perfect for a solo, and much more. This is the cost of the base fully built with doors in every deployable place, and this is what will most likely cost you in a regular wipe. Let's get to the tour. This is a tour for the solo sanctuary. On each side, you have a disconnectable bunker TC. Box on the left, TC on the right. You can also have a battery. Disconnects like a normal disconnect. Your compound is two sided, it's not a full compound. compounds funnel so anyone blowing in here has to go through this side run into the shotgun trap and also this turret it's a symmetrical on both sides exact same thing you have one compound bedroom watching the breaches and you could also just use it to respawn during a raid or read kit if you need to respawn go quickly outside on each side you have a you have some quick mobility up to your shooting floor. Just simple mobility. And at your front entrance, you have some diva boxes. All your honeycomb in the space is usable. Furnaces, batteries. Workbenches, lockers behind vending machines. Do you have two bunkers into the space? Your main loot is bunkered. And also, you have a secret loot bunker in here that rarely ever gets blown during raids. your jump up to your third floor. You have two bedroom pods, more usable honeycomb. You put whatever you want in this. These lockers are all eight rockets each or however much a vending machine costs. You have boxes above and below jump ups just to maximize loot storage. If you want a vending machine you could replace this locker with one. You can still have a locker here, you just have to move your bed to this side and a locker right here. On to the fourth floor, we'll bring us to our shooting floor. Shooting floor consists of free handed and wide gap peaks. The wide gaps aren't really necessary, I just did it because I wanted to have multi TC, in, like, multi -TC coverage on this base so your base can't get griefed. If you have a, the adobe building skin, this will also make this peak much better with the wide gap. These corners are free handed. And you have this really nice low wall peak in the middle here that also lets you peek back down to your third floor. Really nice if someone's raiding you and they're blowing up to get more of your loot. Or if someone's top dining you and you are somehow able to spawn in here. To our roof. This one does supposed to be. You have tree church on each side watching everything. You have this nice little ramp peak. And everything else is pretty enclosed just to make your roof a little cozy and protected. Let's get to the build tutorial. This is a build tutorial for the Solo Sanctuary. First, you want to start off with your starter. Put your TC down. And this is your starter. You can place some boxes here if you want. But if you're ready to expand, just expand like this, exactly like I did. To get your bunker down, do the exact build out. Just follow my steps. 
square, I mean triangle square, then 11 triangles out. On this last triangle, make sure you look left when you place it. And make sure the blue particles are flying left. Now delete everything except for this square. Now build out 11 more triangles. Come back again. Don't delete that triangle. And place a square from the on the one you're place on the one you're standing on. The blue particles on this, when you hold your hammer out, should be facing. Uh, should be coming towards this foundation. So you can put your two half walls and put your roof attached to these two half walls. Make sure you destroy all the foundations and at, make sure you destroy this one and then replace it. For the frames in here, you want to make sure you place them right. So place this one from this angle and place this one from this angle. So now you can place your furnace for your jump up. And you can get started on this part at the base for the bunker and seal. Place this wall frame from this position. This is for the usable honey tunnel. Before you place this frame right here, you gotta make sure to place this and then place a frame from this position. Place the frames the same way you did down there from this position, from this position. And these sides don't really matter. Make sure you always check the stability of this just in case though. It should be 10 or 9 on this and then 8 or 7 for this. If you're concerned, just test it. Now you can want to get to work on your front entrance. your drop boxes down, just place a half wall, half up right here, floor, and you can get out like this. Now you want to do your honeycomb down here. Remember, everything can have to use more honeycomb, including the drum bug. Everything up here, you just want to be half wall, so. You can totally wall this part in, make it not south side. This part, wall that in as well. Three windows on each side. Doorways, roofs, ramps for the peak later on. Then on these sides, just see a honeycomb. These sides are usable honeycomb. If you're having trouble placing this, just replace this floor. Make sure it's connected to this triangle and you shouldn't have any problems. Place all your frames on this floor, just fine. Now you're up on your fourth floor, which will be your shooting floor. And I'm going to turn on symmetry, it just makes this a little bit easier. Never mind, it won't let me because the base isn't symmetrical exactly. So, I'll just do it all four by hand. So for the free hands, 
They're pretty simple. You want to line up on this bottom thing, then go to the middle here. Stand up. Delete this. Go two squares out. Triangle. Build all the way back. Upgrade it. Of course, in an actual wipe, I would probably want to check before you just upgrade it. Check if it is actually right. And to do that, I'll show you how to do that later. If you're worried about people griefing you, you can just upgrade them to sheet. Alright, you got your free hands done. Now you can do your wide gaps, which are pretty simple. Just do Triangle, square, triangle, three triangles out, and three squares out. After one half moon back, you do square and this build out. So after you do the three square, the three tr uh, squares, then a triangle, one half moon, then that. What you want to make sure to do is go like this, place these two half walls, place this frame, and now you can delete that and do your compound part. So this is your compound part done, connect it to this, I'll see the other side, then I'll do the TCs. Now you can do the external TCs. Your external TCs are just free hands, like I just did. I go more in depth on the second one, but you basically just copy what I did. It's pretty simple. You just kind of got to do it till it works. To make this a triangle, build that three triangles, then build back like that. And you can place your TC on the right and batter your boxes or whatever. And upgrade it to sheet. That's not right actually, you're supposed to have a square thing up here. And that's how you connect it to here. You gotta make sure you have that right there to connect it. On the other side, do the same thing. So what you want to do is just basically align yourself like this. And just keep trying until you get it right. 
I got it right. First try once again. I'll just do it one more time just in case. Just gotta outline yourself like this. And I'm getting it right every time, but you will definitely not get it right every time. Usually this is very inconsistent, but that's just how you do it. Connect it like this again. And of course, gotta make sure to have this frame in here. And then you make this a triangle by going out like this and back like that. Then to unseal this, you gotta place this, then like that. You can make this wood, you don't need this. So, with your free hands now, all you gotta do is build up like this. Well, actually, you gotta make sure you have a half wall on the bottom of each of these. Not on the bottom, I, for, I just forgot. You have to have it right above. I actually forgot for this. You gotta make sure to do this on each side for your mobility. Just do two ladders. And yeah, now you just place all these in the windows. Very simple. Place these low walls like this, each side. Now for your wide gaps, so you should be able to attach something to your TC, like through here, if you go in your TC room, you can throw that through there, and then you could throw this through here. This is so you can put these right there for your turrets, and then this is also for your turrets. You put your chain link ga uh, gates on these, and then your chain fences on those. And then your wide gap goes up like this. If you choose, you can risk people being able to get under your turret, but you could have better angles up here with uh, this is the kind of angles you have. You kind of have these like angles there's not too much but you know just in case you want it there you go but I'll just do it the same way I did it in the tour put roofs on all of this So how you make sure all these things are connected, and you get this beforehand, but the, you if you just practice this at a build server, you should almost never mess these up. Basically, you should only be able to place these if this is here. So if I destroy this, this window should get destroyed. So that's how you know you did it right. So you shouldn't be able to place these 
unless you have of course you have stuff connecting this right here so you place these place those place those place your ramps place your roofs I'll just place you like this to make it easier but that is basically your roof done so now I'll show you your compound compound is pretty simple just gotta do these doorways for your entrances So all you have to do is pretty much eyeball it, so just hold your compound wall out like this and then alt look to see, just like eyeball, like see if this would fit. This area from here to here would fit a compound wall. I say that does, so I'm going to do that. Do the same thing on the other side, line it up like this, alt look, if it looks like it would fill it in, just do it. Other side, do the same thing. Just adjust as necessary. Like I said, pretty simple. Not for your furnace placement. Just go over right here. And then place it as far left as you can. Make sure it doesn't block your door. And now you can get through here, but not through here. Do the same thing on this side. And same things on this side. these furnaces last thing you need to do is use barricades and then get your deployables down so your barricades are fairly simple just make them extremely angled like this and your last one just get on top of this and place like that and show that twig that should be twig same thing on this side, make this super angled, go here, place that, show you this, on these ones, just go place this triangle, you might have to keep this triangle in some cases, and you can place this twig to help you as well. So basically, don't don't spam click it like I'm doing, because you'll definitely mess it up. Just line it up first. So place it like that. There. There you go. If you're wondering what this is placing on, it's placing on this wall and it just extends it up until you destroy it. And then you just place all those doors. I'm not going to show door placements in this video, but I will show some, some uh, locker placements and stuff. The box placements are pretty simple, just follow what you saw on the tour. But for locker and vending machine placements all you gotta do is place locker before you place that doorway then just align your vending machine and then back your mouse up and pretty simple for furnaces you have to have a twig frame like this then it's pretty much it's this is a pretty hard put you get the idea you just keep placing this till you get it right and for battery, pretty simple. 